Now, it's tempting to see International Women's Day as a redundant hangover from the last century, a celebration of all that's been achieved. Campaigners, though, argue otherwise, that there's more need than ever to highlight the plight and suffering of women in parts of the world where it's so easily brushed aside. In South Africa, they have some of the worst rape statistics of any country. But one woman is doing her bit to try to change things. Our special correspondent, Alex Crawford, went to meet her. We're going to hit the townships, the locations, the rural areas. We've got to get to the people. We've got to, we've got to attack this rape culture. We have to attack it. Laurie Owen's story is sadly not unusual in South Africa. She was gang raped in her home a few months ago. Despite her courage, emotion sometimes takes over. The first time somebody phones me and tells me this saved their life will make it all worth, worth it for me. The interior designer is fighting back. She's created a bracelet which could have saved her. It gives out a GPS signal and if activated, it'll alert 10 selected telephone numbers. She's gathered a group of volunteers who are all fighting for action against rape. To get faced with it and have someone talk to you so blatantly and honestly about it, um, it kind of it really drives it home. And um, you do, you think about your sisters, your girlfriends, your you know mothers. Women across South Africa, many of whom have also been raped, are rallying round. Women need to stand up and need to stand together. Laurie's daughter Gabby is part of the team organising a mass march against rape this August. Her mother's rape has hit her hard too. It was... she didn't even have to say so many words. She just sat me down and said... Do you know, I think um, in, in South Africa, if you survive rape, you're just so grateful that you're alive. You're alive. I'm, I'm alive. They didn't kill me as well. The rape statistics in South Africa are truly shocking, with a woman raped every four minutes and schoolgirls particularly vulnerable. This 16-year-old, who's already primary carer for her little brother, is now six months pregnant with the baby of her rapist. But her parents blame her for the rape, for somehow allowing it to happen. So facing her family added to the trauma. I was very scared. What were you scared of? It was the first time happening to me. Like, I was very scared. What are people going to say? Things like that. So I was very scared of that. And when you did tell your mother, how was she? My mother was very angry. So as you know, that's what's motivating Laurie Owen. She feels she can make a difference and she's determined to try to save other women from what she suffered. Alex Crawford, Sky News, Johannesburg. We see Laurie saw Laurie Owen in that report. She joins us live from Pretoria. Very good evening to you, Laurie. Thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us here on Sky News. You survived a horrific attack. You're incredibly brave coming forward and talking about it publicly. What inspired you to launch this initiative to try to tackle this terrible, terrible crime? I think the thing that, ha that um, brought me to the stage that I'm at now is that uh, I think I, like most South Africans, lived with my head in the sand and didn't read all those ugly things that were in the newspaper. And, and then I, when it happened to me, when I was gang raped, I just opened up a whole new... I, I'm different. I'm changed. I'm changed so, so dramatically that I just want to do something that will help save other people from going through the trauma that I've been. Children, children are getting raped in this, in this country all the time. And although it's really bad in South Africa, it's bad all over the world and something has to be done. And after I was raped, I thought long and hard, what could I have done that evening? What could I have done? I was attacked in my home. What could I have done to have changed it? What would have stopped me? What would have stopped them from raping me? Nobody was coming home. I remember thinking, nobody is coming home tonight. Nobody's coming to my aid. And um, that was when I, uh, after many sleepless nights, coming up with the personal security device, which I think will change the lives of millions, children, 
people all over the world, people who are in severe hijack situations, rape, violent crime. And so I've been working really hard on developing and designing this device that uh, will be sold, uh, will be on the market shortly. But um, the most important thing about it is that uh, we have started an NGO called Warrior, Women Against Rape, Everybody Against Rape. And this NGO, our main objective, and we have quite a few objectives, and I'd really like everybody to, um, to go to our Facebook Warrior page, but our main objective is to get as much support from all over the world so that we can um, give this device, this personal security device to rape victims, rape survivors, uh, people in dangerous situations, underprivileged people for free. We want to give it for free and it is going to be actually a beautiful piece of jewelry. So, um, you know, this is what we're really aiming for now. This is the objective. This is how I think we're going to make a change. Not only the education towards rape culture, which, I mean, you start scratching there and you cannot believe how deep-rooted, how cultural this is. And so much has to be done. And I, I don't know why I have taken this on as my plight, but I need help and I need your support. I'm standing here at the union buildings, in front of the union buildings in Pretoria. We are going to march on these buildings. We're going to get millions of women to march on these buildings. And we are going to make our governments take notice of what is happening to us in this country. We are getting murdered and raped and it is going to stop. And if I have to spend the rest of my life working on this, this is what I will do. And Laurie, not only that, it's, you know, it's, it, sorry. You're an incredibly brave, strong Samantha. woman, and we really appreciate you coming on to talk about this. And we hope that your initiative really does take off and gets the support that it need. Thank, needs. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you for having me.